Evening. It's late. It's bedtime late. We're gonna paint a car. So, where we left it last time, I had sculpted out most of the bodywork, and I was kind of gonna be a bit of a wuss and go in, but Danny fed me, and now I have energy again. So, we left the car. It's uh, it's primed up. It's pretty much uh, all, all the hot spots are primed. So we're gonna go ahead. Danny's reading in the dark. So like, no, there's light. Bionic eyes. All I got on sale, a uh, little trim plaid. I think it's Canadian only, maybe? Crystallium in the States? And we're gonna thin it out just a little bit. And we're gonna douse it on here. Now, the doors, the quarters, parts of the fenders are kinda taken care of. I haven't touched the hood. I mean, we still have like moss and stuff like that on the, on the cowl and everything. What we're gonna do, just gonna kind of go over it by hand, just kind of scuff everything up and uh, make it one color. We're not going for perfection. We're going for get it together and get it on the road. Uh, hopefully you guys can relate. So I'm gonna set the camera up. I'm just gonna literally, like this fender's really good. This is like next to nothing. The quarters have been basically sanded top to bottom. The deck lid and all that's all taken care of. Uh, the doors I went through just the last couple days. So really it's just the front clip that needs a little bit of love. Nothing here. Uh, the hood's in really good shape. Look at this, like it's moss. So we'll get on that. And then I think it'll probably take two or maybe three coats. I guess how much paint I have and how much energy I have. But I'd like to give her tonight so we can kind of give her hard. So we can dry overnight and then tomorrow we can put the trim on and kind of look at it. I don't know. Maybe do a video like that. That's kind of fun, right? Oh, I'm getting tired. But we're going to power through. We will persevere. We'll deal with the runs tomorrow. Is there, man, this dent. When there's a dent in dry primer, you know it's a dent. All right. I'm going to start sanding. Okay, so got her all sanded down in 240 or something like that. Make sure you watch out for glass. So yeah, I was masking the uh, dash or the window. I just like to run a, a piece of tape around. That's what I attached the like the drop cloth to. So it's just you know pushing your finger on it and making it go. And there's a jagged piece of glass sticking out. So I got that in my finger and it broke off in my finger. So everyone your boo boo. So I had to go inside and peel it out like a fish hook. So that felt nice. I think I got it all. Sorry, mom. Anyways, um, I'm gonna push the car back just a little bit. So it'll kind of be in line with the garage. So as much room in the front as I can. This is, I just buy these plastic drop sheets for like kind of paint your house and stuff. So this thing's really gonna be easy to mask because it's already, well it came pre-disassembled. So we're just going to drop it over the, the kind of window and then I'll just probably like literally just tuck it in here because what do I care if there's overspray on stuff. Are we concerned about the pristine interior? I don't really think so. And I'll just go around the package tray and kind of be done with it. Uh, I might put something or on the wheels. Well, probably not. I'll just suffer later. And, 
That's future Dan's problem. Yeah, future Dan will. So you know what I should have done? Except that it's midnight on a Thursday or whatever the hell day it is. It's a like, Monday. Is that Tuesday? Oh, it's a Tuesday. So <laughs> it all blends together. Time it's done, it'll be Wednesday. But uh, yeah, I'll just clean those wheels and tires up after some paint in or something like that. Tomorrow when we're putting the trim on. Watch out for all the pokey bits. Pokey bits. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'll get this all masked up. And then, if I convince Danny to hang out here for another few minutes, I'll show you how I'm going to mix the paint. Which is probably wrong. But, uh, this video is not really a tutorial. Either was the last one. Really, there's no tutorial videos here, but... It's fun. So we'll get this masked, and then we'll, uh, mix up some paint. Tell the people what happened first. I couldn't find the mixing cups and I had a small fit. Was it a small fit or did you throw all that stuff over and only just reset it? Through a chair. Anyways, we're ready to go. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> well, then leave this for tomorrow. If leave it tomorrow, then I can't put it together tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to put that on the floor a little. Hopefully keep some of the dust off it. That's a neat trick. Yeah, it's a two-star thing. I'll wipe down the bottom of the car. There'll be a little water on it, but hopefully keep some of the dust off. are for mixing this stuff. The website just kind of said whatever. So I think we're going to mix it now we're going to put some in I guess add what we do there. Four to one. It's probably all right. So this stuff It's supposedly you can paint it right out of the can, it says. It's child proof. <laughs> it's not my night. But, uh, this is just acetone. I'm supposed to thin it out a little. So it comes out of the gun nice. Um, I think it's going to reduce the pressure. On the gun, I don't know, like 40 pounds or something like that. I don't know what this thing's set to. But we'll mix this up. Once you get it mixed, me, I'll just show you. I'll do a couple of little fan passes on the practice door. I am by no means a painter, so here that might not. Oh, this stuff really doesn't stick. Crazy thick. You like them thick? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? Literally just drape that over there. Pretty, pretty haphazard, I think it's called. But. If we're honest, this whole operation's a little haphazard. <laughs> a little. Whatever, when you're changing a four door into a convertible in the middle of the night. These things happen. These things happen. I, I can't help you search for any more things. <laughs> I think we have everything. Almost everything. What do I have this set to? Yeah, so we got set to 40 PSI. Must be what I want. Now, the gun here. One is just air and the other one just drops the paint in. It's got two little um, nozzles. I believe this just widens the fan and that allows more paint in. I think. 
never a good sign. <laughs> Obviously that's dirty. Like it looks clean. What the heck I even painted last time. Oh yeah. piece of schmutz in there. That'll for sure not come back to bite us in the ass. This is really not going well. Huh? Perfect. So, here we go. So you can kind of see if you go tight, it makes a little small one. And you can span her out so it's bigger. That seems alright. Okay, so I'm just going to, uh, Wipe down the bottom of the car real quick for a minute, get some water on it. We'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, we'll do a couple passes and I'll set you up on the camera we'll finish it off. But uh, start in the middle, work your way back, top to the bottom. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it. Can you do me a favor first? Huh? Can you say, uh, Luke, I'm the father? Lay one down, then slightly go over it.
okay. Well, she's just kind of drying off a little bit there, or flashing off, hardening up, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. So pretty good. Definitely, you know, they sell uh, guns for primer, I guess, which uh, the thicker, wider Orpus or whatever it is, maybe you can change it for uh, thicker paint. Probably something I should invest in with all the painting I do. But, uh, like I said, really have to thin this thing out. But it laid down pretty good. I don't think I have a lot of streak marks. Unfortunately, there's a few bugs that came in there. But, what are you going to do? I just did this side so it's a little on the, a little wet. Got the gun all cleaned up. I like to take the tape off while it's still kind of tacky so it doesn't peel off. Not that it really matters, but, yes. There we are. Tomorrow it'll... It'll dry off and be good. Have a little fan going. It is super primary, but got the air out so I can breathe. Look at that. Can't even tell. I weld the back door shut. Sort of. All right. I'm gonna camera charge. Well, I'm done. Camera charge. Turn on the compressor. I'll be back out tomorrow, and we can. Put the hood on properly, we can bolt the fenders on, I got a grill for it. I think we're gonna just kind of haphazardly assemble it. Put the rear trim on. I don't have doors, I only have one fender. Um, I like to mess around with that tonneau, just kinda let that sit. I think it looks like a car. Like this is, this is the fun part now, right? I'll oh, see you guys tomorrow, after work. It's been a couple of days. The paint is solid, we haven't done a whole lot. I slapped on these top two uh, trim pieces, just goes out here. Uh, BS it with Murr. I got the top tonneau kind of set there. You know, obviously that's what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I came with these little snaps and stuff, so we got to make our own little uh, you know, clamps that go through it, I guess, or snaps. I got to get the uh, mail part of it from like a fabric store or Home Depot or something like that. But I want to put the side trim on, so this side trim will go on real easy. Might have to drill a couple holes or slot a few things. But I've already had it on once. Get both of those on. Um, it was missing a bunch of this stuff. I might have some in the basement. I had spares on Danny's car. I like to get that on there. I think I have some tail light pieces. And then the bumper is just sitting in a pile of junk. So I get all that dialed together. I might run out and get those snaps actually. Because I would like to put that on. Uh, I want to kind of start cleaning everything out of here. So get side trim on, see what I need. I don't have the side trim for the front, so I think I'm just going to stop at the back section. Um, I want to start putting this stuff, fitting it, because I'll do a little cutting and trimming to make it all work. Uh, obviously, four-door, two-door stuff. Take what I have off the two doors, slice, and then, you know, whatever I got to do. Put in the windows. I actually found another window a guy has. Might run out and get that. So that's what we're doing in this video. Get as much as I can on. Uh, get the rockets in or bullets, we're gonna call them. I have another grill. It's on the bumper in. I think I have a hood bar. Uh, I might just put the hood on proper. Get Mur over here to help me <clears throat> put the hinges on and get it bolted down. But uh, it looks like a car. This red oxide, it sure looks brown. But uh, what are you gonna say? Red oxide. Reddish. So we'll set the camera up, we'll start slamming the side together, it'll look a lot cooler. It's the same color I had before when I showed just the back, and uh, once you get a little chrome on it, it's sure liven this hot rod right up. So the trim on, I dug through the other car, I just slapped the back seat in. It's just sitting there, nothing screwed in. I just wanted to see what this is going to kind of look like. Because um, my plan is to attach it to the seat, which I know isn't really proper, but I mean, at the end of the day, I think it'll look, you know, 
how it's going to look. I assume this probably would have gone behind the seat or something. Because, uh, again, the convertible, the seat would have been ahead. This gives you a little bit of leg room. This seat's just miscellaneous in there. I'll put it ahead a little. But the dogs can actually get in there and stuff. Because uh, this seat, it's not going to fold. So it'll be a up and over situation. Um, so we got trim on. It's obviously here and here is not too happy. I guess I probably don't want to put some clips in it or if I want to try and weld them together or do something. I'm not too sure. I actually have another set of these. I have other four door trim. I can't four door, it's not much better. In that pile, I found this end cap. I slapped it on two screws. So it looks same side to side. This one obviously moves over because the filler. Gotta get a gas cap. In the trunk, there's a, like all this junk came with it. I know a guy who's got other stuff like this that might be slightly better. So here's like your headlight brow stuff, and it's all cracked. They're broken. Uh, I do have a bucket, so that's good. These are the tail light. I mean, they're, they're pretty beat, but again, that goes kind of right there. Um, the problem with doing all these tri fives, I'm getting down to the kind of nitty gritty of all the stuff I have left, which isn't really the best stuff. I got two rear bumpers. Um, this one came with the car, it was pretty KO'd, and I mean, this is complete junk on the ends. I do have another one which is slightly better. It's got a whammo in it. The end caps are nice. It actually has uh, block off plates, the backup plates, which I like that. And I got a bumper here, front bumper, and it has the little caps on the front that are not the uh, like the Dagmar ones or the kind of stick rubber that stick out. I kind of like those. I, I don't know if that's base model stuff. Oh, you know what? That's probably the bumper for this. Now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe I'll leave it on that. So I have another bumper over here. And I have a bumper in the backyard. And I have a bumper, front bumper in the basement. I have four tri five front bumpers. I only need two. So obviously, yeah, I might put something else in the front. But that's not bad. I know the same guy has that also has some wing window stuff. So I might run down and see if I can get one of those put in there and start chopping these to fit and take the four-door one off. This will obviously be like a two-piece job, which isn't the nicest, but it'll be what it's going to be, as we know. I don't think I have an inside piece for the doors, so I don't know. I also want to run out. You know what I'm going to do? That. I'm going to run out. I want to get the snaps, so i got to get the, the mail end for that. And start putting this on because once this goes on like i said what i want to do here i can put the other side trim on and put the bumpers and all that stuff so i don't know we'll do a little bit of assembly maybe and then i'll probably run out grab a few parts and put some more trim on and then we can work on the front of this fine hot rod uh okay oh, body filler on this thing shocker <laughs> uh i got the rear bumper all together i torched uh, the other one all up so it's ready to go anyways put the cover on i kind of held it where i wanted it I found center by going between these stitches. And then I found center, which was this one? No, this one? Whatever. It's one of those. Um, so I marked every six inches the whole way around, which I think is probably about right. I just looked it up on the internet. People kind of did. So the way these work, they have a little top button that fits through a little hole, and then this bottom piece, and you just kind of punch it, and it, uh, and it rolls over. So up here, I'll show you that. Um, so every six inches I went, so I'm just taking one and I'm kind of putting it about where I want it. I give it a little press and it gives a little indent. That's where it'll be. I'm running the buttons closer to the stitching. I don't know if it's supposed to be in the center or not. This is just what I am doing. Anyway, so that gives you a little witness mark. If you have a little uh, punch, you can use that. I'm using an eighth inch drill bit. Drill the hole, there you go. Drill the hole, not your finger. Yep, try not to. So I've got, uh, this side is drilled, I'll just do a couple here. So then you come over. Oh, a nice little workbench. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, eh? So this is the two pieces. They're really all over the zoom today. Well, they're tiny. So, I put it through our little drilled hole. This back snap is going to go on. Then on a block of wood, came with this little tool which is just you know, where the back of the button kind of falls 
push that in there. This thing here is a little uh, punch, but has a stopper on it, so you can only go so far. So line it up in the center. And then this piece here, it folds over, it's like a rivet wood. So I don't know if it looks kind of different or not. There you go, that's pretty much it. So it's kind of no different than if you're, I don't know, fixing a tarp or something like that, same kind of idea. So I'm going to put these on and then I'm going to start in the center. Well, once I get this on, I'll show you, but I bought these uh, thread in uh, mail pieces. I don't know. I don't know if six inches is enough, too much. It seemed like the right number. I looked at some pictures on the internet. Six inches is okay, I guess. It's average. And then what you buy, what I bought was this. Now the factory ones had a, that drill through and had a little nut going up on the bottom, I believe. So I bought this. These are, I'm going to drill a little hole in there, kind of self-tapper. It'll self it, suck itself in. And then this is what's on the bottom. So it kind of snaps together. So we'll see if these last. If not, this is a standard size. So the holes will be where they're going to be. I can buy the other ones that have uh, threads and I can nut and bolt them on. These are cheaper and easier. So of course we went that way. Um, yeah, and then really, so we'll kind of set it where I think I want it to be. It'll be very simple. Drill the holes and, and snap it on. It'll just be that easy. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Because I was... Like 200, 200 bucks or something like that for that cover. I hope it's not all butchered. But it'll hide all this, and then I gotta decide how I want to attach it to the back of the seat. I was thinking Velcro, but then I looked at the seat and it's a little, uh, which is a little worn. But whatever. We'll get that dialed, then I can start working on uh, this stuff, the side trim. Maybe I'll put the back tail lights on and the bumper. I don't know. We'll see how motivated I am. It's Burger Week here. I don't know if that's everywhere or not. But uh, I ordered fancy burgers. They'll be here shortly. So, shortly. Sorry, and I don't think I'm gonna to work too much harder. So, uh, anyways, the car's coming together. I'm gonna to knock this out real quick, and then uh, burger rig. So I'm about halfway done. Uh, I put all the snaps in the whole way around. I think I have enough on there. So, kind of the fitment was a little whatever. I decided this is where I'm gonna start at the front. So I went about four inches back from this little kind of mark, which gives me lots of room. I can still. Uh, trim this to fit and it'll fit in there just nicely So all I did was I put the front two in that way it's the right length this way Which lets it kind of fit up against the back seat. That's kind of hard to show But the side piece here It's right in line with the back seat and this thing is kind of fold under and then if I build something there It'll look kind of I think how it should I did that then what I did I went center to center between the uh, the moldings here, and I split it, which gave us the center, which then I just put in my center uh, uh, attachment, or whatever it is there, the little screw-in, thread-in thing. I went from there. Now this has, I'm just gonna take out this. I put a piece of, uh, a roll of paper towel to kind of give it a look. Put a little bit of pressure on it. But that's good. Now, all you do, this is what the internet said anyway, so it's gotta be right. I don't need the paper towel. So you wanna make sure it's a little taut, so it's kinda of loose here. So I just kinda of pull it where I wanted it, and I just literally push it with my thumb, and that gives you just a little witness mark. Center that up with the drill. Fastener end. Thread her on. Screw it, I should say. Now it's not going to snap because you got to pull it just a little bit so it's got taut. And there you go. That's just, pretty cool. Yeah, just kind of keep Like this thing is, I mean, it's not perfectly straight or whatever. The big thing is when I was pulling it, I wanted to make sure I was happy with the way it's going to be around here. So you got to kind of almost pull it back and over just so this stays taut as well and I mean just do one at a time 
I think it's the best way. So I think if you try and mark them all and then uh, drill them out inevitably, you'll screw up. Now the factory one, it actually had a, a piece of trim that had these snaps in it. But I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna make a piece of trim to screw the car, to then screw these to the piece of trim I was gonna make. I'll just do this. Like that piece of trim looks nice when the uh, top is up in a convertible, right? It kind of finishes everything off. But since the top is never gonna be up for now, let's carry on doing this. I think it's working out okay. So now there are two layers of metal because we're going over the uh, you know, center up there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just kind of start slow. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Keep going. Grab your piece. The screwdriver works better, it's the right size. That's oh, that one's already together. That one. Oh, that one's all together too. Oh, did I grab the same one you put in there? That's embarrassing. There we go. I, I, I put one on in practice as a snap. So I just kind of push down because it has to cut some threads. Going in, yeah. Make her pretty snug. Yep, yeah, pull over. There you go. Now you gotta pull back at the same time a little, right? Just, yeah. So there you go. Keep giving these. Just a few on the side, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I skipped ahead a little. It's nighttime, we had burgers. Um, I don't remember where I was even at. So I was going through the trunk of all the cars looking for trim and stuff, and actually, I found trim. Now, don't judge me, but it is screwed on because that's how it was on the last car. Uh, the trim was on the doors on that 57, so I don't know if those are 57 doors or what, but, and like their sedan trim, I don't know if it's different. Sedan and uh, whatever, and they match up close enough Again, the trim, I need to get a bunch of little clips and stuff. Everything's just kind of sit there. At this point, I'd like to find another one of those for prop two door on this trim would make a big difference. I think I have some front trim downstairs. I'll have to double check. I know I have the one piece. It's beat to ratchet, but uh, whatever. So we got that both sides on. Uh, this I screwed in on both sides because, again, I mean, this this was meant to fit on the four door, so all the screw holes still lined up and the V and everything, so we're golden there. This, I don't. Uh, I gotta figure what one goes on what, and I'll have to chop that. And we have this piece, which I assume goes at the front or on the wing window. So the situation we're gonna run into, the four door is gonna be obviously if we shorten this and added it here, right? Nothing else changed. So basically, we're gonna have to chop that one, add it to this, chop this out, and put it here, and then the other piece will kind of go on, if that's making sense. Uh, I put the bumper on, and the tail light buckets. These are, they're not even, they're just sitting there. I don't have any lenses, I don't got no nothing, but whatever. The bumper's on, the bumper is beat. It's pretty well, you can see in the little dark, it's beat. Put a little trunk handle on. I don't have a lock in it yet, I think I do have one. On this side, so that's that's four door trim. You can see there. I butted it up as tight as I could, and it's just all sitting on there. Um, I'm working on this door a little, so I that one I just uh, use some uh, adhesive, uh, like for new car, new double sided tape. But we're getting there. So, anyways, the driver's door on the four door, so it's the original thing. I'm trying to take it all apart to get the wing window out, and this trim. And uh, actually I can show you here. This is the piece that we're gonna use. And essentially, 
kind of put those together hopefully that'll make up the difference split it there it'll obviously have a join wherever we decide to put it you know just like the four door stuff we do what we can and this whole system the the vent window on a hardtop it's like disarming a bomb. The amount of nuts and screws and bolts and the order of it, it's a friggin' gong show. So I've been screwing around with this. I still gotta get this trim piece off. I did get the wing window out. The hardware involved, there, there's gotta be 20 fasteners. It's friggin' ridiculous. But, uh, let's start cut. I'm gonna get this one piece off. Oh, I actually could use that trim for something. I'm just wondering if the side, the door trim on a sedan, I think is very straight, but the, I don't know if the curve is a little different. I don't know. It's passable for me. I don't have any door handles. I think I have four door door handles. As I recall, four door door handles didn't work on a two door sedan. That might have been back door to front though. And I don't know if hardtop's different, so they might look a little funny and stuff, but they're going to be, they're going to be, I don't even have a latch on this side yet. But I'm going to carry on, I'm going to strip the, that wing window all out, all trimmed, and we'll kind of put it on here and figure what I do. Attach it, kind of cut it. You know, maybe we'll start working on this piece here. Like, they're not really going to line up. I don't know what I'm going to do there. But, uh, and honestly, oh yeah, I have both of those, so it should be okay. I don't know if I have the front uh, piece here, like the inner garnish molding, like I do on that side. And that side, I don't have any of the stuff here. I got, I've got a wing window, but I don't have any of the trim and stuff, so it's... I'm starting to put it together and trying to make a list because I know a guy who's got some stuff but it's not going to be cheap. I did find one piece of lower trim and actually I have a couple of corners. I think this is the same as sedan which I might have another one. So it's all kind of coming together but this really does, I mean, take a step back, I know it's not perfect. But that makes it look like a convertible, I think. So this is the fun stuff. So I'm going to keep jamming for another hour or two until I completely run out of jam and then crash and then keep going tomorrow because I do want to put the front end together so when I stand here it looks good. My god the fasteners evolved here. Okay I'm gonna try and put this together immediately before I forget how it came apart because it uh, didn't go well. So I'm calling for the night. <clears throat> so, for one, I don't have a door latch on this thing. I gotta go deal with that tomorrow. I gotta go buy some hardware. This is the gap I'm talking about. Now, you know, I was thinking this slides under there. I could slide this back for like an eighth of an inch or so. You know, get that a little closer. This can't really move because it has to be in the V. I need to get that dialed because the cut I want to do has to match this piece. Now, I don't have this piece, unfortunately, on this one door. Now, the next situation, I mean, as we know, this is a, a bit of a bigger gap. I can slide it in a little bit there, but it's not really going to line up with the door, so there's going to be a bit of a rigmarole to kind of slice this at an angle, or I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to get that piece first. Here, I, this is actually a picture I took at the car show. You can see up there got a big honking piece of trim that actually rolls down so I'm gonna have to cut this out and, and make something out of steel that goes down there and join it in I'm thinking and then whatever I'm gonna do for a wrap but that's I guess they are just the same convertible hardtop whatever just the the roof line piece is different which I did know the convertible piece I thought it was 
different here, but I guess it's also different down there. So I will have to track one of those down eventually, but in the meantime, I can do that. Looks good with the trim. No, we're really jamming. I'll get that dialed and bumper, grill, hood rockets, get the hood bolted on. I'm gonna get Murder to help me with that. But yeah, no, this thing is, uh, by tomorrow, if you drove by this thing, and you'd really know, you'd think, oh, that's a ratty 57 Chevy convertible sitting out there in the rain with snow on it. The guy's on the top up. What an idiot. See you tomorrow. Well, it's the next day. After work. Um, don't have a pile of time. I got home a little early. We are going to Murr's for dinner. When Murr is barbecuing, you go over and eat Murr's barbecue. Anyways, uh, I worked just a little bit here. Kind of playing with the, uh, the trim and stuff. I bolted on this hinge unfortunately i gotta move the holes over in my uh burr or whatever you want to call it there it's uh well it's beat the shit so i just gotta slot the holes because i just literally drilled the holes and as you guys know latches move all the way around so it doesn't let it close all the way we got we got quite the gap i don't know if the adjustment's going to make this line up or not um well, i got a few things to explain here but if you look at it, it looks like it's kind of coming out crooked anyways so I think we might have to space some of this out a little with some washers, which you don't really ever notice. Once the door's closing properly, we get those in line. I put the back piece on where I wanted it, and I just kind of cut it with the, uh, the way the door was going. I don't know if that's right or not, that's what I'm doing. The back piece, same thing I put on. Oh, I screwed this up. I got hit with the zip cut. Idiot. But uh, we got this piece on, it's got a bit of a gap, but you know what, it's not terrible terrible i don't think it's going to catch your eye too bad uh, i just put one screw in it i had to cut off the end bit so it would have had these like a countersunk style thing so i'll do the same all i have is these screws so that's just kind of temporary i'll countersink it you know knock out the punch or whatever maybe do one there one there send it in be done so what i cut off here i put there i folded the ends not quite long enough we have just a little bit so this is one of them things, you get looking at it, it looks wrong. I don't know if I have the skills to weld those together, it's stainless, and then polish it. But, you know what, it's one of these situations. We stand back for five feet, driving down the road, it'll look okay. I don't think I have this one center, uh, the inside uh, garnish molding, unfortunately. So I mean, I was just going to kind of continue on. I was thinking about leaving the rubber piece in the back. I might do yet. I'm not too sure, but start again. Do whatever we got to do. Carry on. Adjust the door. So I think I've kind of run out of stuff right now until I get the uh, little grinding tool to get in there. That side, same thing. I, I do have the latch on there, but I'd like to kind of make it happen. I got this to do on that side. Maybe I'll film it uh, later on. Get the hood off. I think what I want to do here for now, real quick, put the hood together. So I have the rockets and the grill bar. Put those in. So hood looks like a hood. Hood hinges. These fenders, I forgot, they're not even bolted on. Just a couple of bolts. I gotta bolt those on properly. They actually fit not bad. Get that dialed together, hood hinges on, and then we can work on the grill, the bumper. I had this grill bar off. It's right here. Actually, some of the bolts broke. So I gotta, you know, a little bit of screwing around that and bolting and all that. But uh, yeah, we'll set the camera up. We'll get her going, because once the front of the car looks cool, I mean, really, the side trim is the, the fender trim. The back trim, again, from here, it looks okay. I'd like to get this all dialed together tonight if I can, or maybe tomorrow, worst case. And then, uh, I don't know what I'm going to work on next. Interior stuff, or put the motor di dialed together. Oh, I got tailpipes. We need tailpipes.
What a freaking fight this has been. That bumper has but lost it. But uh, we got the grill on, grill bar on, bumper on, nightmare. Uh, this is actually the bumper that came with the frame, so that's cool. Go on the eyebrow, trims on. The other one I gotta show you here, I gotta get some bolts out. Uh, we got the rockets back in. We got the hood bar on or whatever the, yeah, I guess that's what it is. I don't have the little Chevrolet piece here. What are you gonna do? Everything is pretty beat. This is all stuff I just have. A lot of the stuff was off Danny's car. Uh, Cause I bought better chrome and put it on. I kept all the old stuff. Anyways, we got this one eyebrow piece here. And the problem is the bolts are all, well, they're cut off. So we're gonna have to weld a nut to that and see if we can get this out of this white metal. Can't really get a pair of vice grips on it. So we'll wheel the welder over, get that out. Then put that on. This piece actually clamps the inner fender to the fender together. So it gives a little bit of strength, so it's actually kind of important. Uh, except after you do that, I'm gonna run the wires out. Then I put the headlight buckets in, which I think I have. And maybe put the trim rings and stuff like that on. Everything other than just the headlight itself. And then I'll make a phone call to Murr, slap this on, I did get the hood hinges bolted on. I didn't film that, but they're on, there's no spring on them. Um, mostly because I don't think I have one. Any, so we got the hood on at least, and then unfortunately, where the latch goes, it bolts right here. And parts car problems, it's missing. I might nab it off the, uh, off the black car for the time being, because that doesn't need the hood pinned down. But this one does, we're going to drive it. So we got that. The one fender, I took the one on a little dump run, and uh, the one fender still has the chrome on it. I gotta take that off, it's beat to hell. So all I'm missing is a pasture side chrome. So that's not too bad, because that's the same as four doors and all that sort of stuff. Missing that. I don't have any chrome for around here. On this side, I do have a window, but no chrome, so it gives it the look. But uh, yeah, this thing's gonna be 57 Chevy right away here. So I'll, uh, we'll get the camera set up and we'll get these. Uh, I'll show you this. Snake out some broken bolts. Okay. Get the weller set up. We got a few nuts here. So this is the same if you're gonna be taking out like exhaust manifold studs or bolts that are broken. You can't put a washer on weld that first. I think we're gonna be fine just with this. I'm hoping anyways. Just give it a little hold. Then we're gonna fill the center up. So this is twofold. We're welding the nut to the broken stud as well as putting heat in it. Hopefully this will come out. Get a little, nope. Didn't get a good penetration there. So we'll try again. See if that one did any better. Well, it feels like we might have got it. What's going on here? This will be hot. But the stud's going to come out. Look at that. So he's going to do that a few more times. Basically we made a bolt by welding a nut to the end. That's the end of it, so I'll do that. I'll get these two out, then I'll put some new studs in, I'll show you how I'm doing that. Okay, we got the unit out, or the studs out. Uh, really, they're easy, it's got to put a little bit more heat to them, that was a bit of a wuss on the first one. Now we got is a piece of all-thread rod, it's just quarter inch. At the end I jam nut it, which I just find easier to thread it in once you get started. Oh, there's paint everywhere. So... Got it kind of started there. Thread her in. Doesn't have to be crazy. Give it uh, whatever you want. There you go. Now you gotta do is put on a uh, quarter inch nut. So we'll do that twice more. We'll be able to have the whole front end on this thing, which is shocking. Right. 
repaired. So Mer stopped by. Clay put the hood on. Look how freaking good this thing looks. Um, I put on a couple of brows. These are all beat to shit. Uh, we got our piece on and we put new studs in, so that was good. I took the trim off the other uh, fender. It is woo! But whatever, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Always, always glad I have Mer over. So wrestling uh, myself, which I've done a lot, it seems like, lately, and it's making me tired. Anyways, I want to work on the windshield here, so this thing came with a whole lot of nothing. The windshield smashed. I'm having trouble finding a hard top windshield right now, so I tucked it in there. We're going to pretend it's good. It's on the driver's side, so it should be okay. This is all stuff I have collected over the years um, from different cars, so this is sedan stuff. I don't know if it's any different than hardtop. <clears throat> we'll see. I think it should all kind of yeah, somewhat fit together. I'm missing some little clips and stuff that may not be perfect. The issue I'm having is I'm missing this top piece. Uh, I thought that hardtops were unique, but this is some sedan stuff I have. So I thought a, a hardtop window was shorter. But, well, maybe it is. I'll have to trim it a little bit. But it should fit. The other issue, see this is a little hook and loop. This piece is actually supposed to be in the window beforehand. So, see if we can lube her up and kind of knock it in. Then it's just held in there and then the rubber pressure holds it. And then you put this piece kind of on. And this, I'm missing the little backing piece, but it has a screw in the back, and this just kind of slides over, and there's a same thing in the center, a little slide piece, they'll slide it all over. And then there's a couple of holes there. For this little piece, this is the wrong side, but I grab it for this piece, and slide on here, and that'll hold the trim together on the window. So I think we'll do that. On the next video, I'm going to start messing around with the uh, roof. I've got an idea as to how I want to make it look. A little more convertibly convertibly so we get that done then we'll finish oh i put door handles on Ooh, uh, i just found a set in the junk pile i don't even know what they're off of well try five i don't know what one we'll make this thing fit we'll put on the front trim i did find another one of these so we can do both sides this might be a little bit of cutting and welding to the old piece but get that on and screw it on and all i'm really missing is the trim around the window which isn't really too bad. And this trim, I'm gonna put these on, I'm just gonna glue them in because all the studs broke off the back. Once we get that done, I wanna back it outside, look at the sun. So let's try and get this window together real quick. Yeah? Sounds like a fun time. All right, let's see if we can cheat the system. Lube is your friend. That's my friend. Hopefully I'll get this in, it's got a bit of a notch on it. So, we'll see. Oh, oh. Just try back here. Okay, so this is the last bit of trim we're going to screw with, well today anyways, there will be lots more. Um, I welded up on the other side, you can see the, the garnish molding. So this is what we started off with, obviously it's too long, it's just sitting on there. So what I did 
the V didn't quite line up the way I wanted it to, I guess just because the way the door was. So I ended up cutting a few of these tabs off where the old trim would have fit. I then, on the inside of this, cut some of this out so it kind of moved over a little to close up the gap. I then also cut where the V was and so I can knock down with a hammer so this would fit better and the V would then line up. This tucks under the uh, tonneau and then it has a screw at the back which I reused because the doors remain the same. And then I just drilled a hole in the front and I put a, like a self tapper to hold it down the road. I'll get a, like some trim screws with a taper in it. So that was the plan. The front piece here, I literally just kind of gave her a, a cut. So it kind of lined up. Get a bit of a feel for it. So that's that. We're going to keep this to the front door, obviously. I'll uh, trim this so I'm happy with it. So now I'll just sink a couple screws in there to hold it where I want. And then we'll slice that. There we go. Put that on, put that on. We got our little gap, which is whatever. It's going to be what it's going to be. Now this, when I cut it, I cut it in line with just a little uh, <coughs> stamp kind of on the post. So I will do the same thing, both sides. So now what we've done, put the back piece all done, we have to build the front piece, which is essentially just going to be that, and they actually join nicely together, so I'll grind the edges and weld that together. On the back side we will have to cut out these standoffs, and I guess just a couple, because those are obviously going to be a different spot, being it's different molding. I also trimmed just the edge off the the side here. The problem is we're gonna make it close here but we're actually about a half inch short like we're running into all of our trim so we're gonna short it on the front side um, so I'll show you on the other side it doesn't quite wrap around the front of the door but you know what this you'll see versus the front so that's the way I'm gonna do it. So we'll take these over the table and we'll uh, get them tacked together. piece looks a little crooked because it's cut on an angle but it'll do its thing gotta smack it straight just a little bit on the back side um so i'm gonna zip off just an end there and i'll zip these off because they'll end this little piece in there so i'll interview with the door and then she'll fit in so i'll just get that cut out so that's now what we're working with that's where that's gonna be um so the problem i'm gonna run into is obviously this little transition it doesn't look very good that's, uh, I mean, uh, a symptom of using a four-door post, I guess. So I can't do much about it. I think what I'll probably do is just, you know, I might just angle cut this. 
kind of make it just look round or something like that. Same within here, this post will kind of just make it look round so it will kind of whoop whoop. That's what it's going to do. This now, I can, can body fill it. I mean, there's a lot of uh, this. Weld it together and then body fill it and it'll be no big deal. And here's what I'm talking about. I snuck it back. Obviously, this really wants to be up here. But if we do that, we have that big ugly gap. So we're going to compensate and push it backwards. Uh, the same thing will happen with this piece of trim. Unfortunately, the other door, the window is all seized on it. So I got to take it all apart. It's going to be a lot of work. I don't want to do that right now. So now this, same thing. Essentially put that on the door where you're going to want it. It'll line up. This side lines up nicer on the other side for some reason, but whatever. We'll do that, and then the four-door piece will go there. I'm missing all the trim there, so it is what it is. Okay, that's what we're going to be working on. So, I'm going to take a break. I've been giving it pretty hard, and I'll get that all taken care of. The next time you see it, I just have to push this thing out in the sun, drive it out in the sun, or you give it a nice little bath. Nice little 57 Chevy convertible. Well, there it is. The sun's just going down. A little over 30 days, and this thing went from a four-door hardtop to a two-door roadster. Still needs lots of work, but the real hard, hard stuff is done. It's hard to imagine that this has new front clip, different doors, rear quarter section, deck lid, floor pan, full chassis swap, different rear end. Different front end, disc brake upgrade, motor trans in it, custom made drive shaft, oh yeah, rockers. It's uh it's unbelievable to think how much work you can get done. I think this is where I'm gonna leave it. We got a lot done. Painted her up, got her a uh, bunch of trim on. That was a lot of screwing around all the trim actually, I gotta say. I'm leaving it on the high note right now. I'm gonna put this car back in the garage and deal with it tomorrow. On a new video, I think I wanna tackle the roof, so that's or the Windshield frame, whatever we're going to call it. That's from Liam for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Tell all your friends about this, because let's be honest. This is quality entertainment we got here. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is in a couple of days.